like death is just another way to well, is, death mean, is death is just another plane of existence there's, there's, a, there's a theory right? that heaven that, whoa i got the word heaven talking about that <laughs> What is going on, our champions? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastically well. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the, of the official EC. And my hands are shaking and my camera's shaking, but that's okay. Hold on a second. All right. So, we are in a place called Derby Reach, which I personally have been here a few times before. Gabe has never been here. This is your first time here? Yeah, it's pretty spooky here. It's it is very very spooky now for those who have never seen my past videos my new viewers if you're new to this channel guys please subscribe because my channel is awesome and I have guys like him on this channel as well so yes Derby Reach is the original site of Fort Langley now the reason why it's no longer here is because uh, when it was first established in the late 1800s I think there's like a plaque around here I could show you guys where like the, showing a bit of history of this area. Um, it was moved four kilometers this way because it was a bad trading location. The Hudson's Bay Company did not like that one bit. Mm. So, oh, look at the moon. That is so okay. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I'm getting distracted. Like a, like a crescent moon? Yeah. I don't know. You can see it. I don't know how to zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in for that. Hard yeah, that is insane. And, okay, so what was I saying? Yes, the Hudson's Bay Company did not like the location here, so they moved it. And so the idea is, I'm kind of seeing shadow figures now, is that there was so much history to this place. The when the European settlers came in from Vancouver Island, they brought those natives there to here, but those. Natives were infected with, uh, they had some sort of disease. It was like polio, or, or I could be wrong. Scorpion, maybe? No. no? Um, hold on, I'm going to have to look that up. Just give me one second. Okay, so I looked it up. It was smallpox, which wiped out like thousands of them, which is a horrible, horrible thing to even talk about. It sucks. So, you would and there's. Think that smallpox would be like that lethal, but maybe back, back then? then? Yeah. 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 Huh. So, if you haven't figured it out yet, we are here to do a paranormal investigation based on the title. And, uh, guys, I'm going to show you some really cool new ghost tinting tech. These, these cat balls, you cannot see them flash, or can you? So, let's see, get them going. Uh, can you see them flash on the... Barely. Maybe so, not in the black not, and light. Not in the black and light, so we're going to have to Put switch like a regular... it. The very regular light. So yeah, this is like the latest ghost hunting tech, where the idea is that if a spirit is present in, in your location, it will set off these, so we're going to be try, trying out these. I've seen these done on ghost adventures, and I've seen these done on other paranormal um, they would be like TV, like TV shows and, and YouTube channels. What, like something like moved there? I thought I saw like someone walk by there. Probably. Gabe said he saw someone walk by. But there, there's like no one there. I, I thought like I literally seen like something like walk, like just now, like walk right behind where that tree is. I don't know. We shall find out. Let's have a peek. Switch to my regular flashlight, and even then, it's still not powerful enough. But that's okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I got the black and light. I got the flashlight here. We are going to... So 
So I can see perfectly. We can see it's, it's really bright. It's not really bright on the camera lens, but that's okay. Well, what does it say there? Is that danger sign? Or what does that say? Oh, it's, it's a cliff, so we can't go over that. Because it's, it's, it's an embankment, so like the, the Fraser River is slowly chipping. Um, it's, it's chipping out of like the way of the embankment. Just over time, it's eroding. Let's have a look. But you know what, Gabe? Because you said that, that actually kind of leads on to why we're here. Not only are we doing a paranormal investigation, but there's a legend that may or may not have happened in this area. Chris and I did a video a while back about how there was a lady and her husband, they attended this church at Fort Langley. I want to say maybe the 19, early 1900s, I could be wrong. And the idea, I'm hearing noises, that's weird. Okay, the idea is that she was into science and astrology and all that stuff, which was, if you attended church back then, that was a big no-no. So what happened is they tried her as a witch and they drowned her in this river. And I don't think what I mentioned last time, husband found out. Now, when he found out, he went to the church and I think it was during like a service, locked everyone inside and straight up in that church because he found out that they drowned his wife who was accused of being a witch because they thought she was a witch because she was into astrology and all that stuff that you're not supposed to be, like, be into as a Christian which is sad which is very very sad so we're here to do like a, a second kind of paranormal investigation I just saw like a glimmer of light coming off the river okay so Again, we're here to do a second investigation, kind of follow-up of that witch trial and go around, ask some questions and, and see what kind of results we can get from those ghost balls that I have. <laughs> yeah, my arms hurt. I gotta switch my arm. Hold up. What's that, like, random light in the, in the water? Hold on. Yeah. It's maybe from, uh, you know, like a, the sea or something like that, but there's, like, one random light right there. I, that's kind of like in the middle. It doesn't seem like I see it, but yeah, the camera can't pick it up. I think that's just the water marker for boats. For boats? Yeah. And there's also a, a pipeline that's running through this as well. So that could be a marker for that. So we're just going to go around and just see what's up with this place. Because we're definitely getting that creepy vibe. Let me know in the comments what you think if you are getting that cre creepy vibe as well from this place. But definitely oh, it is... I I'm feeling it just like in the car on our way here I, yeah. I could like sense that there's something like really off here okay so we have a regular light but that doesn't um we're just gonna step up here oh, come on where was the like the main gate Oh, it's up there. What was that? I got a word, man. It said Peter. I don't know if you can... The light's kind of, like, bugging off on that, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm so drawn to, like, the water, eh? Yeah, it's really dark out, really. Can't pick that up, but. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look around, Gabe. Okay. So, we're gonna take you up to this marker here. Okay, so again, the apps that we're using are ghost apps, and they're very reliable. We have had very good results with these apps, because one time. This app said his name on one of my last videos, which if you're new to this channel, you have to check out, which is, it is really, really bonkers. I was really creeped out by yeah. I was really, like, especially after, like, that church and the location and, like, the train. Yeah, I was pretty freaked out. Yeah, out. we're still talking about That happened last summer, and we're still talking about that to this day. We were also featured on Chill's narrator channel. 
uh, his YouTube channel, and uh, he, he, yeah, he pointed that out in the clip, and that was really wild just to see, that was really cool, um, dreams do come true, folks, because, because, <laughs> yeah, uh, watching Chills, um, I actually wanted, it'd be cool, I thought to myself, it'd be really cool to be featured on that channel, mm -hmm. one of my videos, and sure enough, they messaged me through Reddit, it's like, hey, we'd like to use this, can we, can we analyze it? And I'm like, okay, sure, why not? And sure enough, like a month later, it happened, so, yeah, guys, don't give up. And that is my ghost app, that is going off. Where's the marker? I think it's up here. This is where I thought I'd seen, like, someone walk by. You probably did. So this is the marker. So, this was established 1858. Crazy. So we're gonna head up this way a bit, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of activity we get. I'm not really getting any words just yet. Um, that's because I really haven't been asking any solid questions about the witch trial that was here. Oh, if you ask questions, like uh, the app uh, like replies more and yeah. stuff, you, you have to talk to people. Yeah, that's the idea. So we're going to get set up somewhere on here. That's quite fascinating though, if you're like literally like talking to the app, like it kind of like responds to know that you're talking to it. Um. They, if, well, if ghosts are around us, they can hear us. Right. So if we're asking questions... To the ghosts themselves. They will do their... The idea is that they will generate the words from this app to the best of their ability to give you an answer. So, um, there's a video of how this works for, uh, by Amy Scripps. She gives a very detailed description. So, like, you have to be careful around electronics, too, because that could set off the apps that we're using this looks like a very good place to set up here so that's what we're gonna do I am going to have man this is so like woodsy here. yeah let's go um I don't know what is we're gonna go up to this tree there's a tree up here you guys can't see it just yet so we're gonna go up to this tree here man it is... I'm getting like... It's 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I definitely Whoops. like thrill cover vibes here. Like so, just people like... In the, I was always afraid of that. Like just people waiting in the forest. Oh, too many like unsolved mysteries. Yeah. You, you know, as a kid... You can't come anywhere even near you. Oh, look at this. Even in black and white, this tree is very eerie. I don't know what it is. Why am I picking up a light? Or oh, that's just a leaf. That's a leaf. What's that? I do not know. You heard that? Yeah. There is a campground over there as well. So maybe it's one of the campers. There's someone over there. Yo, this is creepy. So I'm going to put down my phone here. Okay, just to kind of do a recap, we're here because we're investigating a, a possible witch trial that happened. Again, there was. A woman that was drowned in this lake because she was accused of being a witch because she was into science and astrology and all that which back Probably then which you, you weren't supposed to do um, if there are any spirits here touch one of these balls <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's bad and uh, <laughs> mate can you if, if there's any spirits here can you set off one of these balls Contact me your way, or show, maybe you should say like show a sign. Maybe what I'll do is set up one of these. I'll, I'll grab this one. I'll, I'll put this down here. Draw see if on. that makes any difference. Maybe actually by the river. Yeah, in two spots. So I separated the the ghost balls. Again, if there's any spirits here, set off. Touch one of these balls, these ghost balls. That's some energy pile. It may take a while. 
for us to get like some sort of result. Yeah, because it's normally not like the right away thing, but we'll definitely like notice it. And again, this may not be. All right, so I'm gonna turn off this light, dude. My I charged this, it, and it's already draining. Not my camera, but my battery. The light that you're seeing right now that I'm using, yeah, like it's going down. The the black and white is just killing it. No, this light here. Yeah, that's my cool. regular my regular flashlight that's attached to my camera. Well, that's weird. Okay, it's always fully charged, so it shouldn't be going down again. I don't know. So none of these are going off. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect everything. Nothing's really happening here. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna lose these. Okay, so we are gonna do that as a bright light. That's all right. So that's a good angle. So we're gonna head up just yeah, this way and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna switch to black and white again. Voices. Yeah. So we're just gonna go up this. We're not gonna travel venture too far. I'm really liking this location. Yeah. I feel like uh, I'm just starting to see a little bit better too now. Yeah. No. Our eyes are adjusting. We'll go to this tree. We'll set up one of the balls here. Um, it's going off because. I, uh, I said it that way. Well, no. When you touch them, they, they go off. So the idea is the spirits will use them. Okay. So we have that ball set up. And I'm going to place this one... Maybe by the trail. Okay. So I'm going to put this one by the trail. Here. This is such a weird place. Yeah, I think the caretakers live here. That's weird. Okay. If there's any spirits here, can you set off one of these balls? These ghost balls? I think if anything would go on, it would probably be on that house then. I'm not sure why, but like, um, I, I don't know about that house. It seems like such a weird, like, off place, you know, I just came so off. Is there a woman that was tried as a witch among these waters, among this land? Here. And what I didn't mention in my last video, I don't know if I mentioned that this. So the lady that was drowned in this lake that was tried as a witch, she was also pregnant. How far along she was pregnant, I don't know. Hold on, my phone's kind of acting up here. So I don't know like how, like what that situation was, but I think that's why the husband went to the church and just Again, I am not 100% if that story is true. It could have just been made up just to keep kids away from the church. But um, when Chris and I were closer to the church, we got some very interesting EVPs from just the questions we're asking. We got things like help. Where's that church? Uh, it's just up the river a bit. We can't go there because it's on native land. And it's it's private. It's a private church. I could take you to the location, or like closer. We could go there. I could show you, which I think we might do that next after we're done here. So I was just a, I, like I was a little bit worried about parking outside yeah. and having my car just on the side of the road because technically this is a park and we shouldn't be here. Um, but that's okay. I saw other cars parked on the road and there are other people kind of hanging around as well so we're not the only ones so I don't feel as bad. Again, we're not really getting any results here yeah, or any words. The, regardless, this place is pretty spooky. 
And it might, it is beeping off, which is weird. Yeah. So. I'm feeling like check out uh, by the gate. Then. Yeah, we'll check out by the gate. So I'm just gonna send my light, collect these. It's not very active in here, which is fine. You know, the fact that we came here, it's 10 o'clock now. The fact that we came here and actually did an investigation it actually says something. So we tried there, to came last time and we were like locked down. Was that the, the place when it was kind of like snowing? And uh, Yeah, we tried to go to a cemetery last couple weekends ago, but it was snowing. And it's raining now and I don't want my camera to get too wet. Yeah, this is wild, man. Again, there's, I don't know what it is, but there's something to this place. Definitely, well that's all just branches and stuff. I'm just gonna walk around before we head back to the car. Gabe said he saw like some shadow people. Yeah, I, I saw, I definitely saw it. Like, when we like, first got here. Like something like walked right by us. And I'm pretty sure I saw something as well. Fix my marauding toque. There we go, sort of. There. Yeah, this river. Sorry, um. There's actually another story that someone we work with told me about, um, like a full body apparition being witnessed around this area uh, apparition like full body apparition that no, was witnessed kind of kind of kind of in this area by uh the, someone we work with one of his closest friends um they in her her i guess they were just hanging out kind of like there was like an old docks somewhere there used to be a ferry that ran from langley oh, nice. to maple ridge but that when they built a bridge somewhere up that way and um and so they're hanging out by the old docks and what happened was there was kind of like this waterlogged lady that kind of like crept out of some woods across the river there and uh, she looked like she had been drowned right mm -hmm. like her face was g pale green her eyes were black and like this this girl was the only one that could see her that no one else could see her for some reason and she's in this this apparition kind of this ghostly apparition kind of peeks out from the woods and walks across the water like walks on water and like this this girl that's seeing is seeing this is freaking out okay yeah and uh, so they take off like they're freaked out and when they get in the car she kind of like looks behind and sees that the woman is standing be behind them as they're taking off. Yeah, <laughs> I'm freaking Gabe out a little bit. And so um, when no, no, but when this lady, okay, so when this lady got home, um, her dog her dog started barking at her as if something was wrong. So maybe there is something to that. Maybe someone did witness. Like a, a spirit, like an unrest, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, an avenge, a vengeful, well, that, that's like, what you know? I was, that's what I was thinking about because like uh, looking for like, like ghosts like that, like you should also have some tools to like uh, combat them in case like something like a uh, major would happen and you know, you would have to, I don't know, kind of like that. Yeah. Like, you know, like uh, have a way of like. Yeah, we gotta, I think we should go. There's people like, <laughs> unless they're parking here as well. Oh, wow, they're turning around. Okay, we kind of got freaked out. Yeah. Yeah, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna book it. We're gonna take off somewhere else. We're gonna actually go closer to that church. I'm gonna take Gabe there. Again, Chris and I have been there as well. So, yeah, we're gonna check this out, my champions. I will see you guys over there. See you soon. See you soon. Oh man, that's super bright that light, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay, so, 
I'm gonna get a good angle with that light. All right, so Gabe, get in, get in frame. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. There you are. Okay. Right so hopefully that is good angle. So we are at the other location where Chris and I were at. Sorry, I didn't mean to get fresh with you, Gabe. Where supposedly there's a church somewhere along here. You can't see it because it's so dark out. Then, However, uh, if there. you watch the last video Chris and I did here, we got some pretty, pretty, pretty creepy EVPs in regards to that supposed case where that lady was drowned in the, in the lake for being accused as a witch. So the idea is that if someone's accused of being a witch, she will get burned at the stake or drown in a river like the one behind us. The river behind us is called the Fraser River, named after Simon Fraser, who was an early explorer like in the, in the 19... 1800s, 1900s. I'd say what would be worth that. Eh? Drying the river seems like it's a lot of phobia to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, who knows, man. So I, well, I was getting off track here. Okay, so if they survive, um, they're or not a witch, or they are a witch. Yeah. Yeah. No, if sorry. If they if they if they if they drown, no, sorry. Oh, sorry. My bad. If they drown, they are innocent. If they survive, they are a witch. Which, again, if they were, if they survived, they would burn them at stake after. It's kind of a situation. If they don't survive, well, I mean, like, oops. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely, it's a bonkers theory. It's so backwards, you know, for that sort of thing to happen. Um, we got a bench here. What's going on with my stupid, my app just keeps on doing all these different things. I have it open. And, uh. So we're going to check out a good spot where we can get some activity. Maybe conjure up something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so we're going to head in this direction. Yeah. It's definitely, even though it is, uh, it's 10, 10 something. Sorry, I dropped my phone. It's 10.30. Yeah. We've been out for an hour now doing this, which isn't too bad. And I haven't gotten any activity yet. I think the church might be over here somewhere, like in this location. But if you watch my last video, I do there's a clear picture of it. I, d I put in some pictures, like in the beginning. It was just like a pos like a scenario sort of thing. Yeah. Creepy. But yeah, this is around here. This is where um, clay told me that story. Clay? Yeah. So Clay, hi Clay, how are you? So Clay told me that story of that there his his friends kind of uh, kind of kind of witnessed something go down here where they saw a full bodied apparition walk across the river. Kinda had this look to her as if she was drowned in the river with the pale the pale green face and uh, what, what do you mean by apparition? Like a full body when it, my understanding is that when ghosts appear to you when they're when they look human that's called an apparition they're not quite human but you, it's just seems something about it just seems off it's almost like okay think of it this way you know it's like ghosts i think the reason why can't we can't see them is because they're on a different plane of existence than us like death is just another way to well, this, death mean, is death is just another plane of existence. There's, there's, you, a, there's a right? theory that heaven. That Whoa! I get the word heaven. Talking about that. Talking man. about death and another plane of existence. I got the word heaven. So that confirms that right there. It's, that it's, is amazing. Not I, so. <sighs> uh, I, I, a lot of books, you know, they said that like. Um, the living were, was not supposed to, like, communicate with the dead, like, at all. They were, they were supposed to be, like, put, like, completely, like, separate. Yeah. But, like, somehow, like, that line got, so I like, blurred. Adjust something here. Okay. That's a little bit better. My app was going off still. So what were you saying, Gabe? Sorry? 
because like uh, I, I'm not sure maybe that's mostly like a religious thing but it, they were saying that like um, you know they were, you're were not really supposed to mix yourself with like the people who were, who were dead like you're not supposed to like cross that that barrier I got another word heaven wow that's twice that came up that's interesting maybe you were on the gates or yeah <laughs> I heard like uh, that was not a thing though. Like I, I heard that like a lot of times it was like uh, a lot like uh, the demonic forces just kind of like. Play yeah, out, it could her. be. That's why you have to be careful when doing this sort of thing. Um, when we get the words heaven, you, you know, like I don't think that's a demon. Hmm. Could be. I don't know. But the f the fact that we talked about death and, and moving on to it's another really plane of existence is heaven. It's that to me, that's heaven. Moving on to another plane of existence. It's whatever you want it to be. I don't think it's just some place in the sky, in the clouds. It can be if you want, but... I have a fascinating theory about that. I think that it's basically like the world that you create while you're dreaming. It's yeah. like a combination of your dreams and your goals and things that you believe or things that you want to experience. That once you like cross that, that, that line, when yeah. you, you pass, that you go and... Uh, you experience those planes that you were dreaming about or that you wanted to experience. There's a tree. Yeah, I agree, good. I... For sure. Um, so we're gonna go and find a spot and test out those ghost balls that I have. Oh, definitely. And, uh, we're... Maybe we'll go up this way a bit. Somewhere that's just... Again, like, I really want to find out if that's true about the witch, you know, about the, the lady that was tried as a witch. I Someone did tell me the story that I worked with. Do you think that they would have, like, uh, rumors or stories, like, online about it? I tried looking online. I couldn't... What was that? It said, listen. I got the word listen. You can't quite see it. But it said listen. What are we listening for? There, okay, so there, I just want to point out there are no, really, lap posts, no wires. There is my camera, but I don't think that would set this off. We got the words heaven and listen so far. What do you think this is? Do you think that's a train? Or an oh, yeah, that's a train. Oh, yeah. Almost. Yeah, it's far away. Fascinated by trains. Mm, let's go to this bench here. It seems like a, a good spot. I'm liking that the app is uh, competing with us. So we got heaven twice. And listen. Yeah. It's really weird heaven coming up twice like that, like especially yeah. in like. In... Wow. I agree. Okay. So we open up the ghost tube. Are there any spirits here you want to communicate with us? You're more than welcome to, and I dropped one of my balls. <laughs> That's bad. That's <laughs> so we're gonna have one here on the table. Maybe we place one near that tree. I know what it is about this tree. It's somewhere easy to find. So we're gonna place it right here. If there's any spirits here, that's going off, but that's... Hold on a second. I think that one went off. I placed it. Maybe I put it off and I just happened to... I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. If there's... Yeah, it was like... If there are any spirits here, you can light up the blue one or the orange one. Whatever you want to prefer. If you want to light up that one, if you did already, light that one up again. And uh, you're more than welcome to light up this one. Have I gotten any words lately? Probably not. No. I got listened twice. That's really? interesting. So it did come up. Something came up. There's a spirit of a witch or someone who was tried of the uh, as a witch present here right now. Um If there are any spirits here, light up one of these balls, please. Or talk to me through this device here. 
You could bring up any word that's related to you. Yeah, things talk to, to me, so, so... Has there ever been a full-bodied apparition walk across that water? Has there been anyone that has ever drowned in that river, in the Fraser River? I would say so. I would say it's very likely. It's funny that we're, when we're actively searching, nothing happens, but like, when, um, yeah. when we're actually not really, we don't have that focus, we get names pop up, we get words that pop up, we get stuff that's related to stuff that we're talking about, and no, alright. Still, that is, it's, no matter what, even nothing is happening tonight. Um... I don't think it has to be, I don't think it has to do with witching now, because you can have hauntings during the daytime too, you know? I don't think there's a specific time where ghosts come out and be like, ooh, you know? Uh, no, but <laughs> the, the thing is with the, the witching hour, like you say, it's just like the veil is thinner, it's kind of like the time where, you know, I, I don't want to say that it's linked with the devil, but like, yeah, there, there's, there's definitely something about that. That there's a, like a connection to her where like the darkness is more present around just that time frame. Like everything has like a season or a smell or a, a time or a, and that that's what it is though. Like the three o'clock is that more like the devious time, you know. So like, what if it's daylight savings time and like when two o'clock happens, it switches to three o'clock right away. How does that affect witching hour? That's what I'd like to know. I don't think witching hour... Between the, the time zone, you mean? Or maybe, because like, witching hour is, like, could be any time, really. Personally, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, three o'clock is the thinnest between the veil and the living is that it's, like, thinnest? I, yeah, okay. I just said that before. But that's okay. You know, guys, know what I mean. Um... So we're not having too much activity here, but that's okay. I think, and I'm down to one. I charged this, man. I charged this light. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost gone. And it's gone. Damn near gone. But that's okay. I'm not really... But one thing that we did a lot last time was, like, walking around, though. Yeah. Because, it's, you know, it's probably, like, a, a different kind of, like, sites. But it's, it's interesting because it's like you are saying... Like, they, they were, like, communicating with us yeah. while we were just kind of, like, doing, like, our, our thing like that. They were actively, like, listening to what we were saying, Yeah, I, I believe. No, I agree. Because they're, I don't think they're really quite drawn to, like, uh, orders. If they are, like, uh, spirits and stuff like that, they're more, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not really drawn to, like, commands to... Uh, Unless that you're very like, uh... sorry, I, I I touched those. That's not ghosts. I'm gonna place them there and just see. Ordering about it. What happens? You know, let's um, let's walk off and just leave those there for a second, and just see what happens. Kind of like, maybe keep an eye on them as uh, we go off. If there are any spirits here? You're more than welcome to touch those those ghost balls. They're here for you. To, to, <laughs> to let let your presence known. Yeah. Is what you're going. Yeah. To let, to let your presence. Or talk known. to me through my phone here that I'm using. This ghost app. We've had a really good a lot of results from it. Yeah. I still can't believe that um, I'm gonna switch off my light here and I'm gonna go dark mode. Hold on, I gotta, no, I gotta stop it. So I got my charger in. It is 10.45. We're getting no activity from those ghost balls. That's all right. And this is going off like, you no know, tomorrow. We'll just leave this on. I feel like you should like bring them into like a, a house or something. That, yeah. you, that you know for um, sure. I do know of a, a, haunted, a couple haunted houses. One haunted house I do plan on investigating is my brother-in-law's house. Hi, Mike. How are you? And uh, they say it's haunted because they live 
pretty much right next to a cemetery. They um, experience unusual things like noises upstairs. Oh, when no one else would be upstairs, they saw their their kids' toys would go off randomly and just little things. Oh. Someone well, said... Would you just be okay like, living like that, though? If you literally see... Like, uh, they, they don't seem to mind. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's one house. And then Chris Davidson's house was also haunted, he says. He's, he, they say they hear this doors open and shut all the time and no one else would be there. So, yeah. Um, I, I definitely would have, like, a, I don't know, like, a, an exorcist or something like that over there. I would have, like, <laughs> a, something to, like, piece the, the place. Yeah. yeah. I still can't believe, though, what Clay was saying about that, you know, his friend seeing a full-body apparition. Around. It's not here, specifically here, but, like, further up... Close. That way, but that way is that's all um, that's all native reserve land, mm. so we cannot go there unless we ask permission to. Who, but, who would you need to speak for that? Why, well, your guess is as good as mine, man. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, no, man. All right, I think we're gonna call it because really nothing much has happened here. We're gonna check out a few other locations throughout the okay. night. Uh, so, what is what? You heard that? That clap in the woods? There was a clap in the woods? Yeah. For reals? It was like... I... I hear frogs, but I don't hear it clap. I might have. It, it was literally like... I, I wouldn't want to say rocks, but it was like a clapping sound. like No, I haven't got any new words on my app. And, uh, are there any spirits here? Set off these balls, please. Yeah, that was strange. That is strange. You'll have to, uh, check that, like, in the editing. That, yeah. That was, that was really crazy. I, yeah, that's weird that you heard it. I didn't hear it. So we're gonna try this, this ghost ball theory another time we're going to to see what goes off are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us you may do so by using those ghost balls you could touch them I'll show you how to touch them all you have to do is go to them like so yeah that takes a minute to uh... Yeah, just listen to those coyotes yeah It's better if I have my light off. And all you have to do is touch this one. It takes some effort to go off, but uh. Okay, I don't know if. I know this one takes a minute to uh. to stop. But which ball? You could touch the orange one or the blue one if there are any spirits present here right now. If they really want to communicate with us, you are more than welcome to. I don't... Maybe... Yeah. Usually, I've seen other videos and it happens right away. I know I've tested this theory out in my brother-in-law's house, off camera, and they have gone off. Yeah? I can tell you that much. And so... Maybe it needs a more active area than this. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Get further away. Let's kind of walk away a bit. And kind of... If there are any spirits here, you can touch those ghost balls or those cat toys. You can play with them. You can just go up and touch them. And I'll show you guys again. If there's any spirits here, I'll show that you... All you have to do is just touch. Just like that. And go up to this one. As well, I know it takes a minute for it to for it turn off, but this one's a little bit harder. Are there any spirits here? You could set those off. Want to touch touch the blue one or the orange one? Which one do you prefer? If you could do that for us, we'd be grateful. Sorry, forgive forgive me of the shakiness of the camera. It's a little bit cold out, and we are freezing. So I do apologize if it's a little bit wonky. 
Okay, I'll show you one more time what to do, okay? Let's touch this one, like this, or you can touch this one, I'm keeping an eye on that one, because I know it takes a minute or two. You can touch that one like that. So once that turns off, I know it takes a minute. So nothing's really happening here. All right, we're gonna check out some uh, other sites here in Fort Langley. I guess we'll find out. This may have worked out, this may have not. Um, so our champions, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button because hitting that like button makes all the difference uh, on this channel for sure. So, Keep it going. war. War. We had a word war. <laughs> yeah, you, you heard it, war. Um, maybe because I said the word smash, I don't know. Who knows? You know what? There could have been... I've heard of battles happening here. Yeah. Um. Maybe. That's very weird, though. Okay, so anyways, guys, smash that like button, smash like crazy, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. We're going to be filming a whole bunch of videos tonight, and hopefully Chris will be joining us. Hi, Chris. We miss you, bud. In the next war. In the next war. Alright, yeah, guys, the champions, peace out. Keep fighting. We'll see you next time. Haha. <laughs>